Hey, man. How you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, man. Good. Would you like to know why we're here? Um, yeah. Yeah? So, what you've been watching on the screens is standard practice footage of the meat, dairy, and egg industries, mainly, but other industries as well that abuse animals. <laughs> How do you feel about animal abuse? I'm a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian? Yeah, it was... My... We're not promoting vegetarian. Just... Yeah, I know. I'd like... This is sort of one of the reasons I did it. What's that? This is sort of one of the reasons oh, I Oh, that's why you became a vegetarian. Yeah, okay. That and environmental concerns, obviously. But okay. Yeah, this is well. Right, so how do you feel about animal abuse, though? Do you find it morally abhorrent, I mean, or do you think it's okay? Obviously, it's not okay. Right, okay. Uh, particularly, Just want to make sure. <laughs> I don't know, the way corporations do it on such a mass scale, it's kind of unsettling and sickening, I think. Yeah. But even if it was on a small scale, if there was just a, a mate that you knew that had a cow on their property and they killed them and then you ate them, I mean, would that be okay? Humans have been eating meat for like thousands of years. Sure. And so um, if it wasn't a human, it was like a, a survival thing, uh, I think it's not a problem, but this is not that. Yeah, which human in this world currently, in 2020, eats animals for survival reasons? Yeah, right. That's right. Not. Well, I mean, in the first sure, world, some, yeah, yeah. Sure. There's some you know, exceptions to the rule, but yeah, the majority mostly, of people, yeah. 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 So we don't really have an excuse to be doing this to them. Is that what yeah. we've gathered? Yeah. 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 Okay, so if you find animal abuse wrong and you don't need to do it, what do you think you can do about it? Stuff like this, and even just stuff in your everyday life, I guess, talking to people. And I think that's the most important thing, is just conversations with people. Yeah, like being active and promoting yeah. and, and speaking up. Yeah. Sure. Getting what do you think you can do as an individual with your own... Because we're not promoting vegetarian, because vegetarians still harm animals. Yeah, right. right. What we're promoting is veganism. Right. Right, where you don't consume any animal products, you don't wear animals, you don't buy products yeah. that are tested on them, etc. Any yeah. form of animal abuse. Uh, what I can do about it? Yeah, do you think that if you agree that this is wrong, right? Yeah. What do you think you can do about it? Uh, don't support fast fashion, it's a huge thing. Obviously, fast, what, fast fashion. Fast fashion. So, right. like, obviously, shop, shopping second hand and all that. Because um, while, you know, maybe you'll be wearing leather or something, it's leather that was produced and it hasn't actually supporting the industry anymore. It's like, if it's second hand. Well, I feel like maybe not. Now that I've said that, maybe not all the time. Because what you're doing is you're promoting that it's okay to wear animals. Yeah. Even if you were say, like, child abuse is wrong, but I'll keep wearing this jacket made out of children until I get a new one. You would never do that, right? Once you understand that it's wrong, right? You were saying with any other injustice like racism or anything else, you wouldn't take a shortcut and say that you'll take steps or you yeah. do things in a compromised manner. You just won't participate, right? Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so you know what the number one benefit is for you to be vegan? What? Obviously their benefit, the animals, is that they no longer are tortured and abused by you in your name. Yeah. But your benefit is that you no longer have to be an animal abuser. Right, okay. And because you say that this is wrong, you no longer have to be a hypocrite. Because you are supporting animal torture when so you if, buy dairy, eggs, and anything else. Yeah, just hypothetically, I know that cow's milk is wrong, uh, particularly the way it's done because it's like um, keeping the animal lactating and whatnot, and that's not how it works biologically or whatever. But if you. Uh, this is just hypothetical for you as a person, like it's not about a movement at all. But to say you were living in a time and place where it wasn't like on this horrible scale that it is. Yeah. Would you potentially eat meat and stuff? It was if it was all like if it was a way for you to live in the world and survive and for it not to be If it was a survival circumstance, who knows what you do to survive. I might even end up eating my friend in a survival situation, yeah, man. You never know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Morals at that point in time can become questionable. Yeah. But in this day and age, what excuse could we possibly find? Okay. Because like I think I think the um, people who disagree with you, the outspoken ones, and me, I guess, because I, I mean. Yeah. Tell me where you disagree. Oh no, I'm just saying people who are like on the side, you know, people who like wear shirts all about eating meat and how you know, like vegan slander kind of thing. People get on Facebook. Like the carnivore crew. Yeah, they're that kind of thing. Like their whole thing is that like they don't necessarily care about killing an animal. Yeah, they say they do, but even hunters will never admit that they abuse animals. Yeah. 
It's because we don't like that identity. We don't like to be known as an animal abuser or see ourselves that way. But it's kind I think it's... It's hypocrisy. I think, I think it's... Yeah. But it's also interesting to say that everyone doesn't like killing animals because... No, there are psychopaths out there. Well, yeah. I, I'm not saying people like killing animals. I just think there are people who aren't as bothered by it because... Well, but again, this is like an argument. It's conveniently hidden. Yeah, this is like an argument for not the first world we're living in. Like, I keep taking it somewhere that it's not, which is, I think, a big problem with someone trying to argue. I don't know. The fact that you have to think world. of some niche yeah, circumstance yeah. goes to show that there is no justification for this. Yeah. For yeah. you as an individual, mm. right? Yeah. No. So, what I do you think you'll do, man? This is really simple. What do you think you'll do about this? I suppose I just gotta go vegan and not just diet vegan, as in like, yeah. Right. Clothing and everything. Right. But then also being socially what would stop aware you? about it. Yeah. Uh, money, capitalism will stop me. As a like poor uni student. Um, you think animal products are cheaper? Is that uh, what you're saying? I think in like big supermarkets and stuff. No, that's it's not true. Easier to, well, it's cheaper to buy cow's milk than almond milk, for example. Yeah, but soy is on par pretty much. And also... What about the like uh, negative health effects of soy milk? Pales in comparison to what dairy will do to your body. Like carcinogenic shit in dairy and all that. Yeah, you're drinking blood, pus, yeah. and you're drinking hormones that come from a female mammal. Yeah. Mammary gland fluids. Yeah. I mean, my point is not to argue for health though, what, what because even if you were to argue that it's unhealthy to be vegan, I would still be vegan, right? Even if I lived 10 years less, like because, a moral thing. because I would die with integrity, right? Yeah. Right? I, I, I don't that. want to live 10 years longer with no integrity and, and be a piece of shit. Yeah. The good news, by the way, is that a whole foods plant-based diet does in fact turn out to be the healthiest diet on the yeah. planet, according to the consensus of science. Longer, right? Which is not really... If they eat well. That's a conditional thing though, by the way. If you yeah. eat well and take care of yourself, yeah. that's got nothing to do with animal rights though. That's your personal choice on how you live your life, but when you make a choice to eat meat, dairy, eggs, you're involving victims now, and yeah. you don't have the right to do that to them because they suffer just like you. Even if they're different to us, they suffer just like you. So when you subject victims to an insane injustice for a sandwich, yeah. it's not justifiable, even if it is healthier or unhealthier to do it. And yeah. It just so happens to be beneficial if you take that in seriously and environmentally as well. But the reason why we have such an environmental crisis and a health crisis from animal agriculture is because of the way we view animals. That's the root cause of this. It's the way we view them and the way we oppress them carelessly and senselessly. We don't even give them a thought. So that's why we're out here in the hopes that you'll now align your actions with the morals that you say you have, which is living on purpose. Instead of living on accident, going along with society's lies and what the doctors will tell you and what your faculties of education will tell you and your parents and your mates who just heard shit off the internet. Yeah, so, I think education is a huge thing. Right. Um, I was thinking when, I don't know, you said about changing a lot, but I think that society's like geared in a way right, that is easiest for the people who more or less run it. And I'm, I'm like, exactly. I don't want to get, like, this debate isn't at all about whatever political structure we use, but you know, there's just like a way people have been doing things and that's how people are making their money and I think that's... Yeah. Yeah, who benefits from this? Well, big corporations and people who just want to sit pretty making their money and not paying tax, blah, blah, blah. Well, do you want to support those scumbags? No, absolutely not. And do you want to support what they're doing to the animals? Because when you pay no, for dairy not. and eggs Pretty and everything well. else, you pay for those guys yeah. in the slaughterhouse and in the farms who are yeah. doing this to them. Well, I am... Um, I think that a lot of people just automatically assume that it's like really hard or whatever because I, I, so I moved out of home recently. I moved from rural Queensland. Right. Um, and I know I had a lot of trouble even with my parents and siblings, like even just vegetarians, like they, they it like railed it. against it because it like, it's like they have all this, this plan that this is how their life has to go and there can't be any variety. It has to be like, this is exactly how it has to go. And but that's I'm, actually not true. Everyone knows this is wrong. Again, is nobody it, would like to think of themselves as well a little bit though. Well, it's deliberately ignorant, but even just the mention of vegetarian, which isn't even addressing the issue, like I've yeah. already explained, yeah, yeah. just the idea 
that we shouldn't be doing this to animals, which is what you represent when you say something, anything remotely like that, right. is rustling up their belief system and changing what they think. Their whole lives they've been believing they're good people. All of a sudden there's a mirror being held up to them, even for a brief moment. Yeah, yeah. And you see yourself and you see how ugly it is what you're doing. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. And you just, with every bit of might you have in your psychology and your emotion, you try to deflect. And then they'll say that you're the problem. Like you shouldn't be forcing your views on other people. You're being too pushy. And they try to focus on the messenger, not the message itself. Or they try to argue against the message in the most ridiculous ways. So sure, we've been doing this for a long time, but we've also been doing a lot of dumb shit for a long time. Right. So yeah. that's not a justification. We've evolved over time. We used to do slavery. Yeah. We evolved. Yeah. We used to be against gay people. I actually grew up in that time when everyone was homophobic. Yeah. We no longer are like that. At least we're getting better. No evil will last forever. So then the question becomes, what side of history do you want to stand on? Now that you know better, what are you going to do? That's poetic. That's good. Yeah, okay. What are you going to do, man? I'm going to... Join, join in this shit. Yeah? Yeah. Let me give you a card then. I don't know. It's just funny. Everyone talks so much shit about it because it's fun they to try to do it. Vegans. Yeah. Or not even just vegans, just anyone sort of speaking up about this or the environment or anything. It's fun to make fun of it because. Yeah, I think what you're saying. Truth about always passes through three stages. First, it's mocked and ridiculed. Then people really fight you. It goes from mocking and ridiculing to actually people fighting you. And then the third step is it's seen as self-evident. Oh yeah, of course. That's what happened with gay rights. That's yeah. what happened with everything else. Yeah. So where do you reckon we are with this? Do you reckon we're still at the mocking we're stage? We're at the fighting stage. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We're beyond, oh, we're still in the mocking stage like for a lot of- transitioning out of it. Yeah, a lot of people are still stuck in that mocking stage, yeah. But yeah, we're transitioning through to the fighting stage and then the next stage is we win. Yeah. Well, absolutely, I think I've just been lazy. Not even lazy, just... It's just not been on your mind and no one's really held you to account about it. And you sort of go... It. Because of that sort of peer pressure, I guess you could say, you sort of go, oh yeah, I, I can just have this bit of chicken or whatever. Like, it's fine, I'll just do this one. So, oh yeah, I'll just have a Milo or something. Um, yeah, so the societal conditioning around you, yeah. or comfort, it actually bullies you out of your morals. Yeah, I reckon so. And out of your independence. Because you're not thinking for yourself now, you're thinking as a collective and going along with the crowd. Which is what they want. That's, what that's exactly how they make money off consumers. Yeah. And how they win. How they win. The evil fuckers. Yeah. So if I do this... You're welcome to join us as a volunteer as well and be a part of what we do. Oh, if this yeah, style yeah. resonates with Not you. Not necessarily, like, I, it does, but I just sort of meant this and You want to speak everything. up? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, right, sure. Yeah, and I encourage you to do that. Yeah, cool. I'll, I'll, write, I'll write stuff about it. I'm going to VCA, so I'll be... Yeah. Yeah, just speak up whenever you have the opportunity, please, because our voices are required in order for their voices to be heard. Yeah. Cool. And listen to. Cool. You could have easily gone over there, easily. Um, obviously my main concern is like a health sort of thing and like, I don't know. I'm not disagreeing with what you're doing, but I'll, I asked I'll you to move over and you said no. Well, you're not the police, so we don't have to move over. I understand that, but it is disrupting the business. Well, they could ask that. They haven't asked us to do that. The manager at the door just did, my friend. He asked us? Yeah. And I said, is it too much to ask to go move over there? Well, we were over there, and then the sun affected our work. And we do have a legal right to be here. I didn't say you don't. And that's exactly what I said to this guy. I said, but do you think it's fair that you're doing it in front of this guy's front door? Well, do you? we're not specifically targeting them. Mate, we're just trying to do our work. I understand that, but you are disrupting the business. Well, this by definition is a disruption because we're trying to disrupt what's going on to the animals. I don't think it's too much to ask just to move over 100 meters. Well, I don't think it's too much for us for people to go vegan, but people... I'm not saying you... I'm but, not saying... But people like, like don't usually... Like I said usually... to this guy, like I said to this guy, I don't disagree with what he's trying to do. I don't disagree with that. Then why are you supporting us? Because I'd like him to move over 100 meters. But that won't help our cause because the sun oh, will so glare said... up our screens. No so... one will see what's going on to the animals. Why don't you move on the grass? Because there's no foot traffic over there, my friend. 